Let the action move, not the camera. I hate camera movement. YouTubers, every vlog was just this. And it's unwatchable. So to celebrate 300 subscribers, I think we're gonna do eat these Carolina Reapers three ways. Well, not these, Carolina Reapers in general. The first way will be powder. So that is a pepper that has been dried and ground into powder. It's actually the first way I ever had a reaper. Back to the house to do the thing that we need to do. Way number two is just like, eat, eat the sucker. Just like eat that pepper, so. Dog poop. So you, you probably didn't catch it because that went by really fast, but uh, let's rewind it a little bit and let me show you, okay? So here, uh, I point out the fact that there is dog poop on the ground, okay? And then I start to walk away being like, oh, that's a funny bit that I've done a lot. I've been like, hey, dog poop. Anyway, so then I start to walk away and then that instant, uh, after I just pointed it out to everyone uh, and knew it was there, I slipped and almost f fell. And, and then uh, let's pan back down. Oh yes, look, there is the smeared dog poop that my foot slid across. Now I have a dog poop covered foot. Uh, so uh, in conclusion, I pointed it out, uh, thought it was funny, and then stepped in it right away. <laughs> and then the third way is going to be a hot sauce, a Carolina Reaper hot sauce with um, some fun ingredients that I will put in there. You may be wondering, what. Are Way number one, Carolina Reaper Chili Pepper, a cultivar of the Capsicum Chinese plant, powder. Boop. So the first way I ever had Carolina Reaper was in a powder form. Powder. That's curry. That's already got some peppers in it. Or we're going to put more. There are lots of companies out there that do powder. And if you grow your own, you can make your own powder. I need to make a video about that. Carolina Reaper powder, going on curry. Let's do this. Put some on our fork. This is actually dangerous because I haven't had my food yet today. I had toast this morning, but that was several hours ago. Okay. Mmm. So, when I first started eating Carolina Reaper powder, it did not taste good. There's a bitterness there. And then there's like a a straw like caramel flavor. The fruitiness people say they get is not there. The tropical notes I usually get are not there. There's also this thing that a lot of reapers have that I call soap. <laughs> soap flavor. Um, it's not there. Burn is good. It's a delayed burn. Reapers burn slow. Like you'll eat it and then five minutes later, you'll be like, oh, there's the burn. So right now it's just like this slow glow slowly coming to what can be compared to like a car heater in the dead of winter just you slowly start to feel it get warm and then eventually when you're not paying attention to it you're like oh, i'm super hot let's do a bite with a lot of powder you see the powder oh yeah so good so good with curry i should have made some carolina reaper powder so i could just be like and this is the one i made but that's actually bought from Amazon. Hey, so that's what I decided to go ahead and do to make this an awesome video. So I picked a bunch of reapers with the help of my son who filmed me doing this. Listen to the sound of these reapers hitting the table. Oh, that's really awesome. So then I took all those reapers and I cut them in half and then I stuck them in my dehydrator. Yeah, yeah. Now my dehydrator goes up to 165 degrees, uh, no higher in case you want to know what degrees I'm, I'm going to be at. So then I stuck this outside because it basically creates like mustard gas and my family will hate me if I do this inside. So then the next day, as you can see, uh, they're not really done. They're still a little rubbery. There's some crispy bits, but not good enough. And then I forgot about them for a few days. And now that I have remembered them, uh, here they are. And we will take them, we'll put them in a coffee grinder that I bought specifically for grinding hot peppers. Fun story, we ground garam masala one time in a bladed coffee grinder and uh, all my coffee after that tasted like air masala and we had to replace it. Or I threw it across the room because I was mad at it. One of the two, I threw it across the room. Anyway, put it in there and you grind it all up. If you want flakes, don't grind it too long. If you like straight fine powder, grind it really, really long and then grind it more and then you have powder. There it is, okay. It smells amazing. It smells so much better than the stuff you buy from the store.
very fresh. It almost has like a, a sweet straw flavor. I think the heat of the stuff I dehydrated myself is probably higher, but not by much. Yeah, home. Ooh, sneeze. That's. I forgot to mention, it actually does taste better when you dehydrate it and grind it yourself. It's like three or four times better. Okay, that is a problem with grinding your own. It'll get in the air. It'll get everywhere. It'll sneeze. Yes, very good. Way number two, Carolina Reaper Chili Pepper, a cultivar of the Capsicum Chinese plant, eating a whole pod. Can you tell I asked one of my sons to water the peppers? The hose isn't put away. This. This is the reaper I've been eyeing for a while. That one looks amazing. This one looks amazing too. Actually, this whole plant looks really good. There are two pepper plants in that, what is it, four gallon bucket? And the shapes of this one are awesome. Look at this array of reapers. They have seven different plants. And if you look at the different shapes that they make, it's pretty crazy. Some almost look like ghost peppers, but they're not. Shapes and sizes differ. Look at this. Look at this guy. See that shape? So little and weird, but it's the same thing. They're not as stable as people want you to believe that they are. The Reaper. I was like, I'm gonna be all big and strong and not wash it. And then I saw that there was like spider web and I was like, I'm, I'm not strong, I'm gonna wash it. So here I was explaining that the Guinness Book of World Records says it was the hottest pepper, but I wasn't entirely sure, and now they say the Pepper X is the hottest pepper, so I'm going to do this instead of what I did. Carolina Reaper. Mm-hmm. That is the flavor I know. So I let this one ripen for a long time. It makes it sweeter. A sweeter reaper is a better reaper. Oh man, that means I have to eat all those seeds. Didn't think about that. All right. I have people <coughs> being mad at me because I eat it slowly. I take like bites and talk. All right, just eat it. I think they just want me to be like, come, come, come. Throw it in. So what I'm saying is, I guess I caved and I just did it. Flavor profile. Berries, like very berry. When you let it ripen like that, that tropical note that I usually say is there, isn't there. <clears throat> Excuse me, isn't there. It's in my throat now. It's very hot already. So, like just strong berry. There is a ever so slight, like, like a rose water type floral. There's the heat coming. So strong. Coming on big time. Right down there, just shooting right down my throat. Right there. It's like a, a slow moving lightning bolt. It's like agonizingly slow as it gets hotter and shoots down, but it's definitely strong. <laughs> Hiccups. So I'm trying to make this a 300 subscriber special. <laughs> by eating it three different ways. We'll see how it turns out because I'm normally disjointed and this makes it even more disjointed. Okay, flavor. Very, very strong berry flavor. Like when a berry starts to get soft and sweet, a lot of that. Not as sweet as a berry, but it was sweet for a pepper, but I let it stay on there a lot longer than I usually do, so that it would get sweeter, because I was like, that's that's the one. Actually, there were two of them. I was like, those are the ones I'm gonna be eating. A little bit of black pepper, slight bit of, excuse me, sorry, earthen, a little bit of like a rose water type, not exactly rose water, 
like a rose water floral. The good way, not the not the perfume. Excuse me. The good way, not the perfumey bad way. A teriyaki flavor. Not as sweet. Something reminiscent of coconut, but is not coconut. And a berry peel. That's the flavor that's left on the palate. So the heat right there in the middle of my tongue feels like a coal. Would just like put out, like somebody put a cigar out right there. In my, my tongue usually it hits my throat. I mean, throat just sits there and burns. Not doing that this time. My teeth. Feel my heartbeat in my teeth. My eyes definitely show that it was a super hot. Yeah. But I've been eating so many super hots this summer, like more than usual, because I grew so many plants and people keep sending me, thanks guys for sending me peppers. Also, that's one of the reasons I took two weeks off. I was getting overwhelmed. That's a good one, guys. Scale of one to 10 on heat. Man, it's not a 10. It's not the hottest pepper in the world. Probably, that one was probably 7.33 on heat. Uh, if I was gonna guess Scoville, I think that one was probably 1.2 million. And then on flavor, that one was really good. I agonizingly watched it for like two months, letting it ripen and then ripen and then just ripen and then still ripen. When my desire is just to pick that stupid thing off there and do something with it. Uh, yeah, the heat, the flavor was really good on that one. That one actually probably will score 8.75. Nah, yeah, 8.75 on flavor. That one was a really good one. Way number three, Carolina Reaper Chili Pepper, a cultivar of the Capsicum Chinese plant, making a hot sauce and eating it. Hi, camera. Going to the store. Red pepper. Charcoal. Driving. Fire. Fire in fall. Perfect combination. Or smell of smoke in fall. Cutting. Hey, oh, to make our sauce, the first step is going to be smoking some red pepper. To do that, I'm going to use the indirect heat method. I'm going to put the coals on one side of my little grill, and I will place the peppers on the other end of the grill. On top of the coals, I will put wood chips and sticks that I have laying around. I will close the lid and smoke those peppers. After you think they have enough smoke on them, go ahead and take them off and bring them inside. Okay, now for our main sauce, we are going to use 30 Carolina Reapers. 30. I'll go ahead and cut those up, make sure there's no rotten bits inside, and throw them in my blender. And then we have to do that like 30 more times. So my smoked red pepper came out super smoky, so I'm just gonna add a few spears of the pepper. Then for some sweetness, I'm going to add some honey. I won't measure, I'll just use my eyes. Sodium chloride will be pink Himalayan salts. I will use one and a half teaspoons and then throw in like four or five cloves of garlic. I will add a spritz of extra virgin olive oil and then the secret sauce, great value brand white wine vinegar. I think I'm gonna use a half cup, I think it was. We throw the pitcher on the blender stand thingamajigger and we will start blending. And then I remember that I forgot the strawberries that I wanted to add, so I add three pretty plump and nice strawberries. So I will slowly work my way up on the various blending speeds until it is at the highest speed and I'll leave it there for about 10 minutes. It's actually gonna warm it up so I don't have to pasteurize the hot sauce at all. Once you start coughing, you know that it's done. And because I think it's really cool, I'm gonna throw it in a Lagavulin 16 bottle. There's a little few drips in there so it might add some flavor. I have to get a funnel to get it all in there. Get that all in there. Cool, and then cork it. I do have some peppers for minting, uh, but that's for another video. <coughs> so blending this thing uh, he heats it up pretty well and it gets it in the air and then you breathe it and it hurts. Uh, so I would only blend it either outside or when everybody's away and you can open the windows. But there we go. There's my reaper sauce. Kind of my own recipe that I just kind of made up. It's still warm. I know a lot of people pasteurize their sauces just by using the blender. This is pretty warm right now, but we're gonna try it warm. Oh no, so much of a mess. I didn't think through how I was going to do this uh, so very well. Here we go, see that, see that? Ahem. <clears throat> 
super good. Smokiness comes through. Sweetness is ever present. It's a little bit more bitterness than I'd want. That's gonna come together really good. I may do an updated tasting, but that is really good. The smoked red pepper definitely brought it together. That is wonderful and that'll be so good on meat. I've noticed that once you make hot sauce, if you let it chillax and relax for a little bit, why'd I do that? <laughs> I've noticed if you uh, let hot sauce relax for a few days before you taste it, it like the flavors meld and it ends up tasting a lot better. But that was really, really good. So that's the third way. Lagavulin Reaper Sauce. Boop. After burn update. Uh, just had the sauce. The, it was probably about five minutes ago, maybe a little longer. Uh, it is burning just like a Reaper. It is like glowing in my throat so bad. It feels like somebody had a cigar and just shoved it in my throat. Like the little coals burning so strong crazy really good though <clears throat> flavor was amazing a little more bitter than i wanted but i bet it'll die down one week and one day later i figured that since it's been a week since i made this stuff i'll go ahead and give you an update so you can have right after i make it and then like a week week and one day later let me open it up hey that works how you doing over there friend <laughs> smells really good Ooh, the color in that is amazing. The color is amazing. That smoky red pepper is coming through really, 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 really well. With the strawberry, the vinegar and the pepper. That bitterness that was there, it's gone. All of the flavors have melded. Tastes like those smoked red peppers make it taste like barbecue. The honey makes it sweet. And then the, that, uh, that tartness from the strawberries. Perfect. This, I'm actually really surprised. <laughs> I didn't know it'd be that good. Wonderful. Awesome. So is that everything? Did we just finish? I think we did. Is it crazy long? You tell me. Bye, boop. <laughs>